3D printing is also called additive manufacturing or AM and using this process we can physically create a three-dimensional object with any shape or geometry. In 3D printing successive layers of material are formed under computer control and is produced from a 3D model. We have already created this mechanical model using AutoCAD software using various 3D modeling and editing commands. Next we will see the procedure to physically create this model using 3D printing. For that first of all you have to create a lithography file from this 3D model. Such files will have an extension of STL and STL stands for stereolithography but it can also be called as standard triangle language or standard tessellation language. An STL file contains only the information about the surface geometry of a 3D object. The information about a 3D surface is split into a number of triangles and other properties such as a color, a layer etc is not stored in this file. An STL file can also be taken in ASCII or in binary form but generally the binary is preferred since it takes less memory space. Next we will see the procedure to create an STL out from this existing 3D model. For that you can give the command STL out using the keyboard. Now it will ask you to select the 3D object. I will select this. Now it will ask you whether you want the output to be taken in the binary format. Yes I want the output to be in the binary format. So I will give an enter. Now you will get a create STL file dialog box. Now you can keep the file in the desired location. I will keep it on the desktop. Now it will ask you for a file name. I will call it as say 3D model. Now you can see that the extension is lithography or STL and I'll click on save. Alternatively you can just click on the application button. Now go to export and click on the other formats option. Now you will get the same dialog box. Next we will move on to the 3D printer and open this STL file in the software which actually controls this device. What you see over here is a complete setup of 3D printing. Here we have a computer in which the Catalyst EX software is installed. Instead of the software you can use a number of other alternatives but over here we are using Catalyst EX as the software. And this software is interfaced with the 3D printer. It's connected with the 3D printer. And this 3D printer primarily consists of a control panel. And what you see over here is a control panel which will show you the number of parameters related with the 3D printer as well as the various informations related with the printing is also displayed like the type of material and the mode of printing of this machine. Presently this machine is in the standby mode and you can see standby mode displayed here and if there is any maintenance required that will also be displayed here. This is called the workbench. And this workbench has got a dimension of 7 inch by 7 inch. Uh, that means this particular printer can be used to print an object with a dimension of 7 inch by 7 inch by 7 inch. That means lengthwise and widthwise you can go for 7 inch and heightwise also you can go for 7 inch. Basically, we feed two media into this 3D printer. We have a model media and a support media. Apparently, both these media will appear to be the same. It is made up of ABS plastic material. In fact, the support media is slightly inferior to model media. The medias are safely kept in containers. Now we have provisions in the 3D printer to store these two medias. First of all, I am going to store the support media in the corresponding slot. Now I'll just show you how the support media is being fed. Similarly, you can store the model media in the other compartment. The support media is later on removed from the model media using this wave wash setup. In the wave wash, there are two compartments. In the first compartment, the water is filled and in the second compartment, the chemicals are added which are used to remove the support media from the model media. Here there is a control panel using which we can control the level of water and the time taken for the removal of support media from the model media. 
using the Catalyst EX software, we can create a 3D print out of the 3D model which you have created in AutoCAD. So I'm going to open the STL file which you have created just now. So I'll go to file, open STL and I'll choose this mechanical model and you will see that model appearing on the screen. When you look at the status, you can see that the status which was displayed in the control panel of the 3D printer is displayed here. And you will also get an idea about the various properties related with the model such as the layer resolution, the model interior type can be changed. I'm not going to change any of the values here. I would like to keep all these values in the defaults. Then the support fill is kept at the smart option. The number of copies can be controlled here and the units can be either millimeters or in inches just like AutoCAD plot command. Then you can scale the model if required from one to any desired value. Here we have a number of tabs displayed. When I click on the orientation tab, I can get the various views of a 3D model. You can go for a top view, a front view or an isometric view, right side view. Then you can undo the orientational changes which you have performed. I would like to go for a top view. Now you can rotate the model about any desired axis if required and you can print that particular orientation of the model. I would like to get back to the previous orientation of the isometric view of the model. Now I am going to click on this button. When you click on add to pack button, you will see a simulation of the support media and the model media. And you will get an idea about the volume taken up by the model media and the support media. You should choose an orientation in such a way that you get the least support media. This will help you to minimize the cost and material utilization. Now I'll click on the add to pack button. And you can see that the model media is displayed in red color and the support media is displayed in the gray color. From this representation, it's clear that you have reached on to the best and the ideal orientation because the volume taken up by the support media is least. To understand this concept fully, let's change the orientation of the model and observe the change in the volume taken up by the support media. But once this model is packed, then you have to again repeat the same sequence of steps because the packing operation cannot be undone. So I'll go to file and open STL and I'll open the same model again. Now I'll go to orientation. It is presently checked and you can see that it is active. Next I'll rotate the model about X axis through an angle of 90 degree. You have a number of presets here. I'll click on X to rotate it about X axis. Now you can see the change in orientation of the object. Now I'll click on the add to pack button to pack the model. Now you can see a notable change in the volume taken up by the support media. Now it's clear that the volume taken up by the support media in this orientation is much more than the volume taken up by the support media in the previous orientation. So the existing orientation is not preferred because of the excessive utilization of the support media material. So I'll open the same STL file once again since the packing process cannot be undone. Now I'll again click on add to pack option to get the same simulation in this orientation. Once you click on the pack tab, you will see the preview of the various views of the same model and you can print any desired view. But presently we are going to print only one view and the rest of the views can be removed. I would like to retain this view which is labeled 1. So I'll click on this view and I'll click on remove and I'll repeat the same sequence of steps for rest of the views that are to be removed from the workbench. And this is an indication of the workbench. The workbench is also called substrate. Once you suitably place the model in the desired location in the substrate, the software displays some relevant parameter related with the volume taken up by the model media as well as the support media in millimeter cubed or in inch cubed. And you will also get an idea about the time taken to complete the entire printing process. In this case, it is shown as 4 hours 47 minutes.
Now all the parameters are properly defined. This is the time to go for printing. So I'll click on the print button to start the 3D printing process. Now it has already started the 3D printing process and the print head consists of a narrow orifice through which the molten ABS plastics flows out. After several passes of the print head, the successive layers of this molten ABS plastic material creates the object. Now let's look at the control panel. You can see that in around 2 hour 14 minutes, it has completed 54% of the total printing. Now, in 2 hour 33 minutes, the remaining 46% will be printed. It has printed the support already. The bottom layer which you see is the support. We have already seen the support in the simulation. The support is basically used to support a complicated 3D model against the workbench or substrate which can be removed later by hand or by water wash. Now it's printing the model. Let's go through the various stages of 3D printing. The message in the control panel indicates that the 3D printing is over. So let's take the model out of the workbench. Now the workbench is taken off and it is called the substrate and this is the model and, and what you see underneath is the support. And this model can be separated from the support by hand since the volume of the support is less and its shape is relatively simple. So we don't have to do any water wash to remove the support from the model. But if the support is formed inside the holes of this model, then we may have to go for a water wash. We have already seen a change in the volume of the support in the simulation when we have adopted a different orientation for the model. Only in this case, water wash is required and along with water, we add some chemicals in this compartment to remove the support from the model. So this is how you perform 3D printing by making use of an AutoCAD 3D model. These objects are created using AutoCAD software in 3 dimension and printed using 3D printer. It's a mechanical model which is created in the actual scale and this aeroplane is created as a scaled down version. And you can see a number of models which are created this way and some of the models are created in actual size and some of the models are scaled down versions. This residence which you see out here is created using 3D printer but it's a scaled down version since it is not possible to create this model in the actual dimension. But with the current technology it is possible to print an entire house or a building in the true dimensions using large format 3D printers. In the figure you can see the print head releasing the material suitable to construct the wall with all the necessary properties. So that's all about the idea of 3D printing. Hope this video has given you some vital information related with this concept. Please feel free to leave your comments at the comment section and hit the like button of this video if you liked it. Thanks for your time.